Hey guys, this is Tim, back again on our video. And this, this video is in conjunction with another video that I uploaded today about uh, my VFX workflow and my VFX folder structure. And within that video, I also briefly, uh, briefly showed how I generate flipbooks. And I have a custom HDA that I made for that. It's quite simple, uh, but it works quite well. And I thought I'd made a sip. I uh, and I thought I'd make a separate video on just showing that HDA. So it's going to be easier for people to find if they're looking specifically for that. So that's what this video is basically. So you can download the HDA on my website, timvanhelsdinger.com. The link for that is in the description. The download is available for Patreon supporters only. So if you're a supporter on Patreon, you can download it. And super thanks if you are a Patreon supporter. It's much appreciated. So the HDA will be for Houdini Indie, um, but it's quite simple. So you can probably rebuild it for FX once you look into it. It's not that complicated, uh, but just pointing that out that if you're on FX and you download it and that you know that it's a uh, it's an Indie HDA because I am on Houdini Indie. So anyway, without further ado, let me just quickly show you what the thing does and why it would be useful. So this HDA requires you to install a couple of things. Um, so first of all, of course, you need to put the OTL in your OTL folder. Um, and another thing is that you need to install ImageMagick and FFmpeg. So ImageMagick, it will be, um, if you Google for ImageMagick, you get a uh, get an installer. Oh, it's probably the download, it's gonna be here. Magic, magic download. So you need to install this. Uh, this is the download thing. And you also need to install FFmpeg. So that will be this one. I will include links to those in the description as well. So you need to install those. Then you need to, in your houdini.environment file, which should be in your documents folder if you're on Windows or wherever it is on your operating system that you're on. And you need to point, uh, you need to make a variable here called uh, uh, pdg underscore image magic and then point it to where your image magic is located and then put pdg underscore ffmpeg and point it to the path where ffmpeg is installed, else this won't work. Um, so anyway, so this thing is just made, meant for easy uh, generation of, um, of flipbooks. So let me show you what I, what I mean by that. So let's make a very simple, uh, very simple thing. Let's make a yeah, let's make do a pig head, and let's um, let's shatter it. Go in there. Some more points. Let's do uh, rigid bodies, and let's throw it on the ground. All right, and we have our Houtini file saved here. It's flipbook generator, and we have our and I have my my dollar job also set to it's set project. I have it set to this location as well. All right, so let's say I want to do a flipbook from this thing. So let me create a camera because I need a camera, and like, maybe let's unpack Mark Big so I have some color on it. All right, so now let's say I want to to make a flipbook from this. So normally you would go to here and then flipbook with new settings. You'd export it. You need to create a, uh, like export an image sequence, create a video from it. And with, uh, with, with FF, like with uh, FFmpeg and uh, image magic, you can also do save a video directly from this. But I made a little OTL that makes the process easier. So if you go to, so you need to go to tasks or you could need to create a top net uh, wherever you want. Um, so, I'm going to put a top net work in tasks and then I'm going to type TVH um, and then TVH flipbook generate come up. I just always append TVH to my own OTLs. So you just know that it's from me. So we put it in here. We're going to say, where do we want to generate our flipbook? So uh, in this case, dollar job slash flipbook. Um, so that will be our folder. So this is the folder now that we're working in. Um, so there will be, once we generate, it will be a flipbook uh, folder there. It's called a piggy, oops, piggy drop. Probably want it to be a JPEG sequence. Let's do uh, 120 frames. 
And now let's select this and press Shift V to cook it. Because remember, this is running in tops. And now let's wait for this to cook and then see what it generates. So this takes a little bit because um, PDG needs to fire up Houdini in, in a Houdini instance in the background. And it will depend on your system settings, how long that takes. Um, my Houdini will load some stuff from the network as well. And that generally makes Houdini boot a little bit slower. If you're just running it locally and don't have any crazy stuff in your Houdini.environment file, then this will probably start instantly. So it uh, depends on your setup. All right, so you can you can see that it starts to uh, to cook. So right now it's generating the images. And once that's, once that's finished, it will start generating a MP4 file. So it's still cooking, now it's done. So if I go to this folder, you can see there's a folder now called Flipbook. It will have the name that I put in here, Picky Drop. Go in there. One will be the version. So it's version one. Go in there and you see there's an, a folder with all of the images. And then there's a separate folder which has the MP4 of the falling pig. So super easy way to just generate flipbooks. And of course you can, uh, well, you, you have like all of the settings in here to to say what you want a flipbook. So I can just say, can add object, force objects, exclude objects, can add lives, just like any ROP would do. So under the hood is just used as a, uh, so it has a ROP net with a uh, with an OpenGL ROP in it. So I just expose those parameters on the uh, on here. So it just has all of these settings. So um yeah select your camera etc etc so you can just configure this any way you want and you could of course copy and paste this and have have some other thing with other settings and just have this be your flip ex export thing so you could like call this i guess like flip export and if you cook this entire thing and we'll just cook anything in here and well just an easy way to generate flip books so uh yeah i hope you find it useful again this file is will be on my website timvanhelsdinger.com uh file will be available for patreon supporters um if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps out the youtube algorithm and gets my stuff recommended to more people and make sure to uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to stay up to date with uh videos uh other videos that i that i put out i i upload around every week uh nowadays so uh yeah stay tuned for that and um yeah see you in the next one guys Peace.